Welcome to Wednesday with moi. I don't have any particular news. Um, my father surprised me for two weeks for graduation, as many of you know, and is now sadly back to the desert, or mostly dirt, as he tells me. Anyway, as I suggested, we are doing five interesting, fun things that we find in our house. And some of them don't really belong in the house because they're like UFOs, except not nearly as cool, and I kind of wonder why they even exist in the first place. So kind of along the lines of Ellie's. I could pull so many of the random things my father has brought back on his travels, which would be kind of interesting, but most of it he brings back as a joke because overseas they sell so much random crap that is worthless and useless and made from such such cheap material that it's not even worth putting on this wonderful video. So, my first item is actually something of my father's that I brought back on my limited travels. I went on a Girl Scout trip <laughs> to Florida with this really annoying girl, but that doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, as you know, The Simpsons is one of is the longest running animated television show in the history of television, not that that even matters, and my father is an avid admirer. So I was in a toy store, uh, a custom toy shop in Florida with the Girl Scouts, and I brought this back. It's a Matryoshka doll with the Simpsons. So we have Homer, uh, he doesn't have a beer in his hand, which is rare, and then we have Marge. Oh wait, okay, there you go, there's Marge. Oh, come here Bart, he needs to behave. There's Bar. He's kind of looking cool. Eh, yeah, kind of. There's Lisa. She's my favorite. She plays the saxophone. What more do you want in a girl? And finally, there's Maggie. It didn't include the dog, but I don't even know his name, so I guess that's a good thing. Secondly, I have some of our home linens, you could say. You'll be interested to know that this Halloween-inspired... This Halloween inspired pot thingy is in our house year round, as well as this Christmas inspired hand towel for kitchen use only, folks. Secondly, we have this book, Animals of the World. It's bigger than my head. And I've read it front to cover multiple times as a child. I believe I begged my parents one time and they bought it for me. So, anyway, it's very interesting. Lots of beautiful pictures. Lots of interesting information. I'd hope it'd be interesting. That's why I picked it. Anyway, this was a part of my childhood. That's why I picked it. And I found it very crucial to this video. It still sits on our bookshelf to this day. And, let's see. Fourth is a stall that was made for me. And lastly, but definitely not least, is this tape that I found on my bedroom floor one time. And it says Kelly's tape, but the name is spelled incorrectly. And I don't believe I would ever spell my own name incorrectly, so I'm not quite sure who made this for me. And then on the on the front it says, Welcome to the World. But you can't see that, this is there. But I don't, I don't know. I've tried to listen to it. There's nothing on there. I just found it in my room, and my parents said they found it one day. I don't understand. Lastly, Ellie, this is for you. My parents were a product of the 90s, too. Yeah, I have it. Yeah, I'm in here. Well, kind of. But I thought you guys would be interested to know that when I was four years old, one of my favorite things were... Pretty dresses. Ain't nothing changed. Okay, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, Kevin.